Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome into Las Vegas and World of Concrete 2023. I'm Wayne Grayson with Iron Pros TV. We're here in the outdoor lot at this show and we're here at the, uh, the Toro booth where Toro is actually unveiling their second generation E-Dingo 500. So yeah, the original version of this machine was actually introduced back in 2020 and Toro has actually spent that time making several improvements, not only uh, to the design of this machine, it actually has gotten narrower, uh, the lift height has been increased, but they've also made some changes to the underlying lithium ion battery power system. So the E-Dingo 500 is intended for indoor construction uses, primarily, um, as you'd imagine, demolition, and the machine has a lifting capacity of 515 pounds. So it's a pretty small and svelte package, but again, it is intended to be going through doorways and to be doing all of its work inside. Now that new power system that I mentioned is Hypercell, which Toro has used successfully in its commercial mower lineup. And the batteries have performed so well in that segment that Toro has launched Hypercell on both the new E-Dingo 500 and its new electric ultra buggy. The new 13 kilowatt hour Hypercell battery system at the heart of the E-Dingo 500 has increased battery life to a full eight hours of continuous use. Now that's key, it's continuous use. It's not, you know, stop and go use as a lot of kind of uh, battery uh, powered machines have had to advertise. This is if you were to run this thing in circles for eight hours, you would get eight hours of continuous use with this hypercell battery. And that is obviously enough juice to get many crews through a 12 hour workday. Now, obviously, thanks to that hypercell power system, the E-Dingo is extremely quiet and the independent four-wheel electric drive motors on board provide a very smooth operating experience that includes zero turn capability. The max speed of this machine is 2.75 miles per hour. And look, when you hop on, the controls are easy to pick up. They're extremely intuitive, and that's that's really largely thanks to the single joystick control setup that Toro has implemented here, allowing you to move forward and backward with just a push or pull of the joystick, or be able to turn left and right with a twist of that same stick. Your boom and bucket functions are going to be handled with the separate joystick on the right here, uh, on the right side of the operator station. <laughs> Now, charging the E-Dingo 500, honestly, it, it couldn't be any simpler. It's a standard 120-volt uh, plug, uh, and there's a cord kind of coming out of an outlet uh, just right above where you kind of stand in the operator station. You take that standard 120-volt plug, you charge it up, and it'll charge up overnight. Now, beyond the battery system, the other big improvement to the E-Dingo is its narrower design. The machine now measures a svelte 30 inches wide, and that allows it to get through the tightest of doors. Now, in addition to its 515 pounds of lifting power, the new design on the E-Dingo 500 has also increased lift pin height to 81 inches. And one other thing to note is that while this machine is battery powered, it still retains hydraulics, and it has a hydraulic flow of 6.5 gallons per minute, and that makes it capable of using a wealth of different attachments. So when can you actually get your hands on a new E-Dingo 500? Well, Toro plans to launch this new machine later this year around the summer of 2023. All right, guys, that's everything we know about the new E-Dingo 500 from Toro. Thank you so much for, for watching the video. We always appreciate the time. And uh, be sure to check out this machine and other machines on ironpros.com where you can compare machines, watch videos like this one, look at specs, and a whole lot more. Visit ironpros.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time.